Hey everybody, welcome back to David and Peyton's Apiary. Uh, sorry I haven't been uploading in a while. Got a action camera that I've been trying to go. It's a Vivitar, it's not GoPro, but the same type of camera. The sound quality on it isn't all that great. Uh, but it's something I was trying to do. Having problems finding editing software that will actually run on my uh, laptop. And uh, just haven't gotten any video on the phone itself. I've gotten video on the SD cards on those, but they're so long that it won't transfer over to my phone, won't even play on it. So uh, I'm trying to get that going. Once I can find some software, I'll get to editing, get those videos out and everything. Uh, the split, that's what's on the videos. It's doing great. It's ready for another hive uh, or another box on top of it, so it's ready to become a double stack. And uh, open feeding, going to start doing that pretty soon. Uh, Tomorrow I'm going out there to put that box on there. I'll try to get a little bit of video on the phone itself. That way I can upload that. Other than that, if you want to see what I've been up to on a Saturday, here it is. Alright, so I'm working on 2001 Kia Rio today. I am not a mechanic. I just do this shit in my free time. I took the rotor off. This is getting replaced. Got the new one right there. The bearings in here need replaced. I have the bearings for it. This whole piece needs replaced. I don't know what it's called. Hub hub assembly, something like that. As you can see, the CV axle is free. Uh, that's the only thing I need to do is replace this. As you can see, two bolts have broken off in there, and I had to get it in order to get the rotor off. Um, all of this is not, you know, everything else in here is nice. It's good. There's no grease or fluids or anything like that. Everything's nice and dry in there. Uh... But, yeah, I got to get this thing off. And by the time I figure out how to do that, this video will already be out. Or, well, this I'll figure out how to do it before this video comes out. But this is loose, but I don't know how to get it out of there. So, this is my fun project for the day. I guess it's time to watch some videos. So, like I said, by the time... This is uploaded. I've already had this finished and figured out how everything's going to go on. Now, here's what's going to happen. First, got to remove this, this, and then down here, I've got to remove it from that. And I've got to pull the whole knuckle off. And then, I should be able to get this off, get it replaced. The knuckle's still good as far as I can tell. Everything attached to it's still good. You know, the ball joints, upper and lower arms. I can, everything seems to be good. This needs replaced, or I could just machine it, but I'm pretty sure the bearings in here need replaced. So that's what I'm going to have to be doing. Uh, going to have to order most of the parts online, I got a feeling. Uh, I've also got new calipers coming for it through O'Reilly, brake pads, you know, all that good shit. As y'all have seen, I got the new rotor that's going to be going on it, or brake disc, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to get to it and have some fun. As you can see, I got this removed from two. Got the bolt out of that. Now I just got to figure out how to get this freed up. Because, let's face it, it's in there really good, man. So, let's see what I can rig up. 